My name is George Arthur, and I'm a docent at the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. As you explore the museum, you'll uncover many treasures and learn volumes of information from its exhibits and collections. The 20 plus permanent murals on the walls of the center are among the unexpected surprises you'll find at the museum. The murals were created by some of the most gifted Pueblo artists of their time and were commissioned over the 45 years of the center's existence. Many of these murals were painted on the external walls and have faced the ravages of time and extreme New Mexico weather conditions. With the help of a couple of restorations over the 44 years of their existence, they have maintained their vibrancy and integrity. As you dwell on each painting, you'll find there is more to the murals than meets the eye. Impressive and imposing, these murals truly dominate the spaces they occupy. The figures radiate the power and the drama of the dances and cultural events they portray. The fine detail the artists included in the regalia and the context of the Pueblo scenes in the murals reveal a complex and unique culture that spans thousands of years. The colors used in the murals reflect the natural tones of the Southwest. The dominant color palette symbolizes a culture that is one with nature, a powerful and eternal connection with Sun Father and Earth Mother. If you take your time and let the murals quietly impart their message, you'll learn how the Pueblo people have survived for thousands of years honoring and hunting the local fauna, the eagle, Deer, antelope, mountain sheep, serpent, and many other creatures have played a critical role in the Pueblo culture. Many of the murals represent sacred, seasonal dances that continue to be performed to this day. These dances express the gratitude of the Pueblo people for the many gifts of the Creator and a fervent appeal for those precious gifts to last forever. The lives of the artists who created the murals, the stories behind the paintings, are no less compelling than the murals themselves. They have created their art to honor the Pueblo culture, history, and traditions. For example, you'll discover a Cochiti Pueblo war hero who endured the Bataan Death March in the Philippines during World War II and then went on to extraordinarily serve his community and be honored as a living treasure. You'll learn about a determined, gifted female Santa Clara artist who believed in her own talent and rarely took no for an answer. She never lost faith in her abilities and overcame unimaginable barriers in her life and ultimately reached the pinnacle in Native American art. Another mural painter, an Okeawinge Pueblo draftsman, worked at the Los Alamos laboratories during the day and labored tirelessly at night on his own paintings for years. He never gave up his dream that his work would achieve greatness. Today, you'll see his mural prominently displayed in the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center's central courtyard and in the main IPCC exhibit, We Are of This Place, and in many major museums throughout the world. As you continue to explore these fascinating murals, you'll find a monumental collage created by a young 20-year-old Zuni woman with wisdom and talent far beyond her years. She combined the Zuni emergence story, little-known cultural facts, a concise history of her people, and even a recent federal court victory involving a fierce water rights battle that seriously threatened the welfare of her Pueblo. This impressive mural encapsulates hundreds of years of history and culture. These are just a few examples of the compelling stories that accompany the 20 plus murals that are waiting to be discovered and explored at the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. What are you waiting for? Come in for a visit.